Trends Operation To operate trends in the DC Go control point, select, in the hierarchy, the element you want to view the trends for. In our example, the air handling unit. Then, select, in the sub-navigation bar, trends. In the chart views, we see there is one chart defined for this specific plant. When we look in the list view, we can see that there are some point which are in trends. Jump back to the trends view and open the trend chart. The chart view is now displayed. As we can see, it is possible to have one trend graphic with different data types, which are just displayed in different charts. In our example, we have three charts, one for the supply air fan speed, which is an analog output value, one for the air temperatures, which are analog input values, and one for the fire detection contact and frost protection monitor, which are binary input values. We have the possibility to move the cursor of the mouse over the trend to see the name and details of the data points. We can hide or display the trend graphs. With help of this slider, we are able to adapt the times for which the trend should be displayed. So, it may be easier to monitor when there are problems in the plant. We also can select a separate date, for instance, the trends from yesterday or even the day before. By clicking on the day, the calendar will open from which we can select a specific day or an entire week or even the whole month or year. We have the possibility to display the trend as a graph, like it is now, or even as a list. We can also refresh the trend view, then it will always start in the graphical view. If we need to adapt settings for this graphics, we can do so by clicking the small gear symbol and select Series Options. Here we see that we have Group A for the supply air fan speed, Group B for the temperatures, and Group C for the fire detector and frost protection monitor. For the analog values, we can change the interval for the display in the graphics. For each element in this chart, we have separate settings. For example, changing the color or the type of the graph. To confirm the settings, click on the small tick on the top right corner. It is possible to export trends by clicking to the download symbol and select the file type between CSV and JSON. The data are now available in a separate file. If it would be more convenient, it is possible to assign the element to different chart groups. Go back to the series options. Click on the icon beside the color of the element and the moving chart groups panel will be opened. The chart that we selected is indicated with this blue triangle that includes the tick symbol. As you can see, the group C is indicated with a red triangle and a warning icon. This means that the selected element cannot be moved in this group, and this because the selected element is an analog value while the group C is for binary values. But we can create a new chart group by clicking on Create Group. It is now indicated that this element is now going to be moved to a new group. Confirm the changes with the tick button and check the result. With DCGO control point, it is also possible to merge data points in one single chart group if they have the same data type. In our example, we want to merge the temperature data points to the same group of the supply air fan speed since they are all analog values. So, we select the temperature element we moved before into a new group and we move it back into the group B. We do the same with the supply air fan speed element, moving it into the group B as well. Confirm the changes and check the result. If we now want to exit the trend graphics, the system will indicate that it is not saved yet. We can save the changes to the existing trend, or we can also save it as a new one with a different name.
Then, select Exit. To delete a chart, just open it. And, from the Settings menu, click on Delete Chart and confirm the action.